Put a little bit of a rub. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. Should be ascending. Brady, do you know how Brady is so. Frank Sinatra once came, sat down in that chair. I said, Frank, you hang out with Tom Brady. How old is he? He said, Tom Brady's 137 years old. Tom Brady <laughs> is not supposed to be good anymore. And he really hasn't been. He's been, he's been better than he ought to be. Has any right to be at his age. But he's not. Like, when you talk about the MVP, Ken, it's not Tom Brady. And, and he was, and by the way, the Eagles defense played their hearts out yesterday. But Carson Wentz? Carson Wentz threw 13 games a couple of years ago. I mean, they were both MVP candidates mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. They met in the Super Bowl. Carson Wentz threw 13 games, was the MVP over Tom Brady, I thought, and didn't finish healthy. He's in the middle of his physical prime. What is this level of regression? In addition to a lot of just bad throws, he had that horrible fumble strip sack that gave the, 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 the Patriots that field position. By the way, the Eagles defense limited. It's like when you, when you can't trust your skill guys, your wide receivers ain't showing you that you can catch the football. What you think that guy gonna do? He's gonna hold the football long. Cause he's seeing ain't nobody catching the football like that. You see at the end of the game, what happened? Had a chance to tie the game, drop pass. He got like 16 touchdowns and five picks. He ain't decreasing. It is looking like that because the injuries they're having and the players ain't catching the football for real. To a field goal. Because as I said, they played their hearts out. It was two good defenses last night. I understand that. But if you're saying who was more disappointing, the 137-year-old who won the game or the guy in his prime who wasn't any good and, by the way, hasn't been good for a while. Stephen A., I'm a Carson Wentz fan. I was a Carson Wentz fan. I thought, you know, of all the young guys, if it wasn't for Patrick Mahomes, boy, we'd be talking about Carson Wentz. No, we're not. He was more disappointing. To my answers, neither of them. Uh, when I look at Carson Wentz, how many drop passes are we going to see? Nelson Aguilar dropped a game time pass, touchdown pass at the end. It's emblematic of what he's been dealing with all season long. By the way, they only rushed for 81 yards, and, and, and Sanders was your leading rusher with 11 carries for 38 yards. Mm -hmm. That's problematic for the Philadelphia Eagles. On the side of Tom Brady, Tom Brady looked completely ticked off in that press conference, and I don't blame him. To be 42 years old, to be a six-time champion, a guy that guided this team to nine Super Bowls with the great Bill Belichick giving you this defense. Why do you think that as much of a headache as Antonio Brown was, Tom Brady welcomed him with open arms, even offered to give him a, 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 a spot at his pad, at his crib. Tom Brady, I mean, this is a guy yeah. that's being accused of assault now. And Tom Brady still wanted this dude in his home with his wife and kids and said, you know what, let him come here. Why? Because at 42, he's looking at the talent that he's got to work with. He's like, you got to be kidding me. Mm -hmm. You got to be kidding me. I mean, your, your best receiver is your sly guy in Edelman. You've got no wide, you, you've got no outside threats whatsoever. You know, the level of talent that he... That's why at least trying to fight and keep Brown there. Or why would you let Josh Gordon go? You need an outside threat. I understand Julian Elliman is your top guy, but he's in the slot. In this league, you need a go route wide receiver. You need an outside threat. That's why they've been putting up these type numbers and not really scoring like that. That's why they barely scrape back against the Eagles. They don't have no outside threat. Only they have a slot wide receivers. You should have kept Josh Gordon. You don't release him. That's why he frustrated because he know he don't have the talent and on the outside. This offense ain't all that good. They've been led by their defense mostly. You, I understand that it's on the Brown situation, but you figure out a, a way to spin him at least and try to keep him there, or wait till Josh Gordon get on the injury reserve and you keep him there for Tom Brady. Brady ain't young, he's 42. He need that outside threat. I understand he's a six-time Super Bowl champ. But he ain't never had an outside threat. I understand he could maybe go around him better. But he still ain't got it. Nikhil Harry, he's still hurt. And y'all let Josh Gordon go to Seattle. Why would y'all lose 
an outside threat. And the Patriots are bereft of has put him in such an incredibly disadvantaged to position. You actually find yourself, if it were not for all the championships and all the trips, you actually find yourself feeling sorry for them, even though they're that's, nine and one. That's why so, it's incredible what he's doing, Stephen A. But the fact is, let's let's get this straight. Let's not yep. get it bent here. Beginning of his career, Tom Brady couldn't take no protection and no outside speed and do much with it, right? He was much more of a game manager. Mm -hmm. He hit a peak that he kept for so many years where it didn't matter that almost is, the protection that is, and that the speed. Is, that is that's your, not that the is, case that is, anymore. That is your assessment. That is not mine. Okay. But he hasn't yeah, had protection. Keep, he hasn't we had receivers. Keep it rolling, and he hasn't guys. produced. Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download.